Welcome back in one of the Bears Travel Plays YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, November 21st, and I'm back with another college basketball pick. Not a lot to choose from tonight. I mean, we've got a lot of games, but I don't really like much. Uh, but we're going to look at Tennessee going up against Virginia. Should be a decent game to watch. I have one play, one game, or one game pick, one player prop tonight. But let's take a look at the recap from Wednesday. Uh, double screwed on the Xavier game. I took it late. I'm pretty sure Ryan Conwell came out at 15.5 on Price Picks and FanDuel. I took it after work, though, pretty late, about 10 minutes before the game started. So I got the uh, 16 and a half. He had 16 in the game. So hopefully some of you guys out there got the 15.5. I did not. So I'm going to be taking the loss on this one because he scored exactly 16. And then Xavier minus 26 and a half. I saw it as early as 24 and a half, 23 and a half this morning. But again, didn't bet anything until I got home. Took it at 26 and a half. I think they won the game by 24. So kind of screwed on both of those. Xavier did play pretty well. Uh, I think what screwed us was the, whenever they came out of the second half, they did not play very well. Uh, let Sienna cut it to 13 or 11, and then they just, I don't know, took the stars out in the last three minutes, which really sucks as well. So doesn't matter. Uh, we're moving on. Mark Sears is not going to go over his total points, and that's because he's not shooting. And I don't know why he's not shooting. Probably because Alabama, he's pushing the tempo for Alabama. Alabama has a million fast break points, and it's only 10 minutes into the game. So I think the score is 38 to 21. Or something along those lines. We have Alabama minus eight and a half. I did say Alabama's going to run a gun, so maybe we see Alabama score 100 points again really early in that game. It's possible he comes back and shoots, but he, he does he has not shot the ball yet. Ten minutes into the game, so uh, that one's looking like a loser, which is really unfortunate because everybody else. Grant Nelson came out in this game, made four consecutive threes. He's a monster. Um, wish that was Mark Sears, just didn't happen that way. So that one's probably going to lose as well. At least Alabama's having a good day, but we got to try to get back on track here. Looking at Virginia. Going up against Tennessee, the play today is going to be an explosive offense and a good defense going up against a horrible offense and a great defense. I have been in this situation before. I remember very vividly last season Virginia going up against Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech's not the best team in the world, but Virginia Tech was at home, and I remember specifically I took Virginia because I thought they would play better defense than Virginia Tech. I knew that Virginia could not score, and everybody knew that Virginia last season, if they put up 50-plus points, that was a great game for them. This season, probably going to be close to the same, 55 plus, 60 plus points. That's going to be a normal Virginia, uh, Virginia game. But I took a picture of that moment. I've got it on my phone. It doesn't matter. It does not matter if you play good defense or not. If you can't score the ball, you're not going to be able to win. Tennessee is scoring 88 points per game, shooting close to 60% from the field. They're still not giving up over 70 points per game. Virginia's got, they've got a great defense. Don't get me wrong. I know they've got some players over there that are going to play great defense, but the bones are still there. The structure of that team is still there. This is still a team who cannot score. Last season, Tennessee was great. This season, Tennessee is pretty good as well. I saved that photo because every time I'm in this situation where I can either pick a great offense going up against Virginia or rely on the Virginia defense, I will never make the wrong decision ever again. Even if Virginia does find a way to cover the spread, I will sleep easy at night knowing that at the end of the day, I made the correct call because Virginia cannot be trusted to score. Tennessee does have Ziegler coming back. Tennessee also has a couple of transfers scoring nearly 15 points per game. One of them is going to be the player prop. He's from North Florida, but he's going to be fantastic this season. Whenever you go look at Virginia side, it's sad. It's really a sad thing to see. Isaac McKinley, he's still there. He's scoring 12 points per game. Last season, he's scoring 13 points per game this season. Beekman, Beekman was their leading scorer last season. He did nothing against Virginia Tech. I remember that, but he was a leading scorer. They have a true freshman scoring 13 points per game and a transfer from San Diego State who is basically coming from San Diego State to Virginia, and these teams play the exact same basketball. San Diego State plays good defense. They don't score. Virginia plays good defense. They don't score. He's scoring six points per game last season. He's a top three scorer this season. Nobody else is above seven points per game over there. So please take Tennessee in this game. Even if we lose, you're going to be able to sleep at night knowing that you bet on Tennessee you can put up 80 points and knowing that if you bet on Virginia and they score 45 points and Tennessee puts up 90, it's going to be horrible for you. I've been there. It took me two days to fall asleep. I've been there before. Take Tennessee minus and a half as the play today. Let's go over the player props for the first play and the only player prop of the day. This is going to be the guy. It's going to be Chaz Lanier, who is, again, coming over from North Florida. He was their leading scorer last season, scoring 19.4 points per game. He's going to be the leading scorer for Tennessee at the end of the season. You can mark that down. He needs to be a little bit more aggressive. I think he's just getting his toes wet with his new team. But this guy, he can score in bunches. And I think this is going to be his first big standout game, showcase his talent. Tennessee has beaten every team this season. 
by nearly 20 plus points. So they really haven't needed him to play a lot. And besides the first game of the season, he hasn't even shot double digit times back to back games. This is a guy who can knock down a ton of threes as well, hitting three three pointers already in three of the first four games. That's a lot of threes, but he's shooting nearly 50% from the field and he shot over 50% from three in three of those four games so far. So I think he's going to dominate Virginia. The best way to beat Virginia is ball movement, fast breaks, and finding the open man on the outside. Chaz is going to be that open man on the outside, just sitting on the three-point line. He's going to have three or four in this game. I'm taking his over total points as the play. Let's go over the recap graphic. We're going to be taking Tennessee minus 10.5. Tennessee minus 10.5. Tennessee minus 10.5. Tennessee minus 10.5. They can score. Virginia can. Chaz Lanier, over his total points, probably going to be 12.5, maybe 13.5 as the final play of the day. Guys, that's going to do it for the NCAA Basketball Picks and Props for Thursday, November 21st, Lady Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching.